Hi there guys, um, this is my first YouTube video. Look, I had the same problem with the Dell XPS M1730 where it was not charging from the power supply from the and uh, the computer just started, the, the battery started running flat and the computer was saying um, correct the correct power supply. Although we had the correct power supply connected, the computer was not recognizing it. Anyways, Good news is that um, on this one over here we got it running back to normal and uh, after looking on YouTube for so long to find a way to fix it and I have saw a lot of people were replacing motherboards and replacing their um, power supplies um, unfortunately my warranty is up which I was not going to be able to replace anything right now um, anyway to show you guys what I'm talking about right we can see down here I'm not too sure if you can guys can see it and the power supply is back up and running and the computer is charged and yeah, if you zoom in there, somehow, you would see that the battery is 100% fully charged and the computer is back to normal. Um, yeah, this I didn't replace anything, just a bit of solder and a, a knife cutter. Anyway, this is how we fixed it. Let's get started. It was very simple, but I'm, okay, I'm not a technician, but this is what I did to get this thing running. The problem on the computer was exactly um, at the back here. If we look back at the power supply of the computer, uh, you can see it down there. Okay, well, I'm going to stop the video and show you more clearly. Now, that, well, hold on. All right, now I've taken out the back plug from the computer. This is a plug that uh, connects to the power supply. And after reading on the internet, what you guys, and uh, anyway. The problem definitely is the Red Bull cable in the center, which transmits the data between the computer and the power supply. Anyway, now I took it apart. The way I did that was I used a knife cutter. I sliced this little jack open over here with a knife cutter. Once I sliced it open, um, then I had to pry out the silicon. Well, now here is the biggest problem, and I think this is why it's actually happening. The silicon, which is over here, these are the silicon pieces that we cut out of it. Now what happens is they are very hard and somehow they have actually bonded together but mine had actually cracked thanks to the fact that it's this little part here bends. That crack in the center pulls and eventually disconnects that little red cable. It actually breaks that little red cable inside there. And that's it guys. If you can get the little red cable inside there reconnected. I mean I didn't use a wire. I just put a solder to it and uh, took that out. I've, I've put it back together with a cable tie for now, just to make sure it's running fine. And uh, yeah, the, the problem solved and the uh, Dell's back to normal, 100% again. And uh, didn't have to replace much. Actually, I didn't use any parts, just a drop of solder. And uh, that's it. Um, I'll show you the inside now as well. Anyways, now that's the, how the plug looks. If you notice that little red cable in the center, that's where the problem was. Although you had to remove that white silicon around there, otherwise it looked fine. And once I removed the white silicon, then yeah, it was quite obvious that the wire was broken. I dabbed the piece of solder there in between there, and uh, the connection is fine again. Uh, I closed it back together with, uh, just as we said, the, the cable tie, plugged it in, and voila, uh, laptop's back up and running, power supply is working 100%, and no need to replace the motherboard on this one, or the CPU. And uh, touch wood, yeah, that's, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and maybe this helps. Um, yeah, thank you. And uh, the reason why I disassembled the center part of this, um, oh, anyway, look, that's about it.